My dad, Hermie since was chief of police. When he started in at Bayfield, he was also the city clerk. He had the city clerk's job and the chief of police. And he was the only cop. And so if he had somebody overnight... He'd hold... take them in there, lock them up, and that was it. And if it was too cold, then he would load them up and take them to Washburn. But we would start a fire in there on Friday morning to warm it up. H.J. had Railway Express and all that stuff, and he had a coal yard. H.J. would give the city the coal, and my dad would go down there with his car and fill up the little buckets and then take it up to the jail. The last one he had when we left here was a 40 Chevrolet. See, my dad was one of the first 44 state patrolmen in Wisconsin. He applied for it, and then they hired 44 people, and he was one of the 44. Ten of those people were stationed in Milwaukee. My dad, when he got his job here, he had Bayfield and Douglas County. My dad was a city clerk, and he would make out clips that to the grocery stores with the names on them that they could charge. And then if they didn't have enough money to pay for it at the end of the month, the city got the bill and then they paid it. It was a homegrown system. Is it also true that sometimes they locked up the baseball players in the jail? Well, they could have if they were drinking too much. And the ballpark used to be right below the Iron Bridge. Right next to the jail. Yeah. Just get them out of jail and start pitching. Yeah. And my dad Hard broke his leg shortly oh, after he got the job chased some iron miners from over on the Michigan Peninsula and he chased them down through Broad Street. They'd have a lawn and then it'd be a, a brick thing and he chased them back through there and he went off of one of those and broke his leg. Well, he got them and then he took them to Washburn because he couldn't take care of them in Bayfield. And when he got home, he couldn't get out of bed the next morning so he called Doc Robinson. He was a doctor in town. The doctor, yeah, he got a broken leg and he put cast on it. Right over on the side of the door, my dad had his heavy coats and stuff on the hooks, and he had his gun belt and all this stuff that he wore hanging on that all the time. And there was no markings on the floor, but if you got within three feet of that thing, you caught it. My dad died a month before he was 60 from a cerebral hemorrhage. They were over in Fond du Lac at the time, and they were loading up to come back to Eau Claire because he got transferred back to Eau Claire. And he woke up the morning when he died and told my mother, he said, I'm not going to make it. She called the doctor, and the doctor came to the house, and, and they said, well, we can do something with it, but if we do save him, he's just going to be a vegetable. And that was it. See, Hermie had quite a life.